name is uh, Nola Iso Maat Bay. That's N O L O Y I S O Maat M A A T Bay B E Y. I am the aunt of Hakeem Littleton. I first want to thank all the organizations that came out today um, and had supported us every day, um, what we call boots on the ground and supporting the family. Second, I do want to clear up a couple of things, and that is one, Hakeem is, was 20. Um, number two, Hakeem was not arrested several days before. However, he was harassed consistently by a particular, particular officer. Um, I don't have his name yet, but I definitely have his picture. Um, his picture will be shown at the uh, vigil uh, tonight, so everyone can get a chance to see who this um, corrupt officer is. Um, we also want to mention that um, Chief Craig had said that the family um, understands what happened of the story he claims that one of his commanders gave us. I want to be clear. The family does not understand. The family does not agree. But yes, we are angry. Yes, we are. He did not get due process. They worked as a judge and jury. And we don't say he murdered, he was murdered. We say he was executed on site. And for me, that's a big difference in that. We also say that we have a lot of fire. We have fire in organizations behind us. I have fire in my heart that no mayor of this city, no chief of this city could ever quit. And I'm pretty sure it won't quit for anyone standing behind us. I want the chief to know personally, he may think operative word think that he has won the war he just won a little battle but the last word will always be the truth I'm Chairman, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. Um, son of Chairman Fred Hampton who was assassinated uh, by the Chicago police under the federal, uh, via the federal, federal government December 4th 1969 so I'm, uh, I'm representing the organization of the Black Panther Party Cubs um, the pain of what happened to Hakeem Limited is, uh, is not limited to uh, Detroit. In fact, I'm based in Chicago, and the deal is um, this police terrorism, I think it's important we be very clear on our, on our terms and our words, this police terrorism is, it has our community position that every day feels like September 11 of us. We like the, old, the original victims of terrorism. And again, we want, uh, we, on, uh, the, the case of Hakeem Limited is being felt on an international level, again, on an international level. So again, this, this, the people's pain reflects it is not limited to that of uh, the death of just Detroit. It's not limited to the death of uh, right now today. In fact, again, I'm the son of Chairman Frams who was assassinated by the, by, by, by this, uh, by, by the police, the Chicago police, December 4, 1969. And that, that same pain, that same police terrorism that, that, that was present then, is still here today. And again, we stand in solidarity with the family, we stand in solidarity with the community, we stand in solidarity with the people. And the, 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 these cases, the cases of George Floyd, uh, Brandon Taylor, uh, transcend all geographical uh, 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 boundaries. So we, again, just for Hakeem Littleton, just for them all, power to the people. And hashtag Hakeem Littleton, hashtag why did you stop me? Right on. I'm an organizer of what Detroit will breathe, and I'm here uh, to go through a walk uh, through uh, analysis of the video released by Detroit Police Department uh, regarding Hakeem Littleton's death. Uh, I will point out that the video that has been made public uh, is one and a half uh, of the total five to seven cameras that were on the scene. So the videos that we'll be looking today is from the dash cam of a squad car and um, um, that in a body cam of a police officer. Uh, it should be noted uh, that in Detroit, um, Body cams normally comes with information that includes like location. It also includes the name and badge of the police officer. So those things were actually taken out uh, before they were released to the public. Um, and I think it's really imperative uh, that we set a standard where when there's incidents of police involved in shootings, that we know their names and know their background. Because we always know the victim's criminal history but we never know who the police are, um, and uh, that's just something to point out. So if you could start the video. Okay, pause it right here. So initially, you see police officer run up on the Akeem's friend, 
But you see that there's also a young lady that there was, she starts to walk off. Akeem's initial reaction is to have his hands in the air. Keep playing. Okay, he has his hand up for a while. Okay, you can stop. So at this point, he's actually reaching into his pocket um, and he's like got his hands in there for a while. Uh, at no point, uh, because there are seven officers, I believe, that are at the scene, um, and at no point does any of the officers try to have an interaction with him. Um, keep going. Stop. So this is when they pay attention to Hakeem. And as you see, the officer, as Hakeem pulls his hands out of his pockets, uh, the officer um, pulls out his gun. Uh, the video uh, with the audio that we'll play later will make it clear that Hakeem was never given an order to maintain his hands up or to freeze. Uh, instead, uh, the officer uh, ask in an aggressive way, what the fuck are you reaching for? Uh, keep going. All right, it's at this point that Hakeem stop. is on the ground, he shoots. They're exchange of gunfire. The police officer with the body cam we see, she said Hakeem. Hakeem shoots one round. The police officer charges him. Hakeem then runs uh, away. Uh, he's immediately tackled to the ground and I believe shot at that point. Uh, keep going. Because at this point, he's on the ground. Um, I just want to make it clear that he's on the ground there's a police officer on top of him. Keep going. Pause. So you will see from the audio version that while Hakeem is on the ground, there are still multiple uh, fi shots fired um, at his leg. And right here is where the police officer will fire the last round, um, point blank, uh, to Hakeem's head. Keep going. That shot, by the way, is what sends the person with the body cam going to cover. Uh, if we see the slow mo, we see the can. He's down on the ground. This officer shoots. Leg, and he, he actually has to like put himself in position to make sure he doesn't shoot at the officer that's on top of Akeem, so he's got to like actually maneuver to get to Akeem. So I want to find out, he is already shot, he's on the ground, someone's on top of him, and he's still shooting at him while he's on the ground. Again, final shot to the head. So if you can play the tape with the audio, just let it play right away. Okay. see the officer scrambling because of his reaction to the last one shot to the head. He doesn't know where he's coming from. Again, it's not clear. He's on the ground. He's actually hitting the head. More gun shots are fired. That's the last shot to the head. I was able to hand it. So, San Juan and Nichols, right? San Juan and that Nichols. Oh, you can, what, Detroit or Six Six Mile. Okay, Six Mile. Okay, Six Mile and San Juan. Hey, sister, that's why I couldn't I mean, find it at first. Right. I was like, I see McNichols. I was right, looking at Six Mile. I'm sorry, Mile. I shouldn't have said it. It's all good. Right. Hey, hey, we learned the locale, though, you know? We learned the locations. It's all love. So, it, was this where y'all were? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, it was? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, 9.59 a.m. 
Huh? To find it. How do well, no, no, once we figured it out. Yeah, that's oh. the language. We were like, it's the same street. Oh, we yeah. figured it out, you know what I'm saying? Need y'all to be out here. Need, 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 need warm bodies out here tonight, y'all. Come in the case of came Littleton. We're going to be here tonight. Just get people come from all over the country. You know what I'm saying? For a clarion call. We need warm bodies out here tonight, y'all. Six, six miles. I mean, so I'm saying it right. Six, six miles and make nipples, right? No, six, six miles San Juan. Six miles six mile in San Juan, you know what I'm saying? Need y'all on deck, you know what I'm saying? 10 o'clock at night, you know what I'm saying? Justice, justify King Little to just for them all. Don't forget, don't forget our brother, y'all. Real talk. We don't hold that. Uh, 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 Put the word down, you know what I'm saying? Then tweet, tweet, Instagram, social media. Uh, what, what, what's the thing? What, 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 TikTok, what else they use out here? Instagram, Instagram what else? What else y'all got? Facebook, <laughs> YouTube, Snapchat. Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? It'd be hard to keep up. Right, right, right. Don't try to keep up with us on Snapchat, right, right, right. Snapchat, right, right, right. Snapchat all that. Y'all put out there. Justice for Hakeem Littleton, justice for them all. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. I mean, man, real, we on deck. 10 o'clock tonight, six miles and San Juan. That's what it is. Bring them on. Hey, bring them on. Our brother, Hakeem Littleton, because he was our little brother. Make no mistake, that was my little brother. And any black and brown child in this nation, and especially in this city, is my little brother or my little sister. And the responsibility that we have as a community, as a city, is to always come out and ask questions. It's to demand justice and transparency and truth when any of our children, of our little sisters, and our little brothers are murdered, particularly at the hands of the state. Right. And I want that to be extremely clear. That's the responsibility that we have. That's the responsibility that we have to our children and to our siblings. It's to always come out and be loud and be proud and be unashamed and to demand justice and truth for our little brothers and our little sisters. Say his name! Say his name! Say his name! Say his name! Say her name! Ayada Jones! Say her name. Say her name. Say her name. Say his name. George Floyd. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Say her name. Brianna Taylor. Say her name. Say her name. Say her name. Right on. All power to the people. My name is Ross Celon. Came a long way from Oakland, California. We're working with the Black Panther Party Cubs, chaired by Fred Hampton Jr. You're about to hear from the chairman in a moment. But before we do that, I wanted to just share a piece that I that we wrote for Ayanna Jones 10 years ago. Because in 2009, there was a brother named Oscar Grant. Raise your fist if you ever heard of Oscar Grant. Oscar Grant was executed by the bar police in Oakland, California, where I stay, right? And we did, a, we rebelled, we uprised, just like what's happening right now, and the movement is still going on today. So when what happened to Ayanna Jones right here in this city happened, we wanted to raise awareness of this. So we got involved with what the Black Panther Party Cubs called the Code of Culture, which demands that hip hop artists do more than just rap about Sing Sing, because there's too many of us, like, or rap, rap about Bling Bling, there's too many of us in Sing Sing. You know what I'm talking about? So we put the, mu the message in the music. Similar to what the great Jay Diller did when he said, one, two, three. Put the police. What? One, two, three. Put the police. Yeah, long live JD, man. And Marvin Gaye, when he said, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Because the movement makes it happen. So I'm not going to talk no more. I'm just going to sh share these lyrics with y'all. Now bear with me because I haven't performed this joint in a long time, but these are the times. Seven-year-old Ayanna Jones, peacefully resting in her home. Not alone in the crib, but sound asleep on the couch. Meanwhile, outside was Detroit homicide cops. First 48 reality show, taping a special response. The lead detective, Joseph Weekly, AKA The Brain. Why they call him that? I don't know, that pig's insane. Cause while the camera's rolling, you won't believe what he did. He threw a flash grenade, straight right into a crib. 
and Jen started shooting, hit little Ayana in the forehead. Her grandma and pops came downstairs to see the floor red, stained with their innocent blood. What the fuck? Then the other pigs grabbed them both and started roughing them up. Straight handcuffed them. They put her father's face where her brains lay. They tried to cover it up. May 16th was the day. That was 2010. Police terrorism's gotta end. Ayana Jones is the name, and we ain't gonna let this happen again. For Ayana Jones. This time we gotta ride. No more police terrorism, you know? Because there's power in our numbers. Strength in this discipline. Take a principal stand. Don't just be blowing in the wind. Because if it happens to your fam, then you want to resist. But we all exist in this police state. So raise your fist and insist on accountability. Take control of your community. Minister Huey P said the pigs operate just like an occupying army. So how long can we tolerate it? It's way beyond brutality. It's straight up hatred, stealing innocent lives like Mezzali did to Oscar Grant the third. So we rebelled in the street till the state put him on trial for murder. And no matter what the verdict said, people's power is still a threat. No justice, no peace. BPPC on deck and free of Scar X. Yes, all prisoners of conscience. We're gonna keep it moving until this system is abolished. That's an honest promise, just watch us as we stop these coppers, but we ought to do it proper, like what Lavelle did for Oscar, for Ayanna Jones. No more stolen lies. This time we gotta ride. Organize and mobilize. Till justice, we all prize. Justice for Hakeem Littleton, justice for Ayanna Jones, justice for them all. All power to the people, free them all. To blood. The police in the state executed his father in his sleep. Am I right about that? Yes, sir. So I want y'all to put your hands together for one of the greatest revolutionaries living in our time, Chairman Fred Hampton. Right on, right on. Right on. Free them all. 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 All power to the people. All power to the people. First and foremost, uh, I'm honored and humbled to be here. I hate, I hate under these circumstances, but uh, let me say, Clint Fist salute to the work that y'all been doing. We'd have heard, we heard y'all hitting the ground way up in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? In fact, the case of Hakeem Littleton got to be on, on an international level. We got to make take a position that we respect no colonial borders. Right on. We can't afford the luxury set tripping. The deal is the people's pain reflects. Whether it be George Floyd, Randy Taylor, whether it be, we say every day is September 11th for us. Black people in particular, we are the OVs, not the OGs, but we are the original victims of terrorism. And it's embarrassing being oppressed. But even the alcoholics not gonna say the first step to address the problem is recognize that we got a problem. That's right. Let me, I won't draw no foregone conclusion. Let me give you a little backdrop. Once I come, I'm Chairman Fred Hampton Jr., the chairman of the Black Panther Party, because the organization is carrying the legacy of the Black Panther Party. Right on. Yes. I feel fortunate to have fallen from the tree of two freedom fighters. One of Chairman Fred Hampton, also of a cool and Jerry Foreman, knows Deborah Johnson. December the 4th, 1969, a day in which we define as one of our September 11th stories. The day in which the government snatched two eye twin towers. 21-year-old Chairman Fred, 22-year-old Defense Captain Mark Clark. Defe of the program called Cointel Pro, Counterintelligence Program, in which not out of the horse's mouth, but out of the pig's mouth. The U.S. government said itself, former director J of the FBI, Jagger Hoover, who, I, who, who created the program, but was ar architected by the director of the FBI, William Sullivan. So the program created to discredit, to dismiss, to disrupt and destroy any black nationalist movement, especially amongst the youth. Especially amongst the youth. It consisted of tactics like straight up assassinating 17 year old Bobby Hutton in Oakland, California, April 6, 1968, two days after the U.S. government assassinated Dr. King. It consisted of forcing so, a lot of people into political exile, some we still have today, such as Asana Shakura. Yeah. It also consisted on the west side of Chicago, where the federal government via the Chicago Police Department came in Illinois Bell phone trucks. All with a floor plan so detailed they knew what pack of cigarettes might be at. A floor plan was supplied to, to, the, to the government by Agent Provocateur uh, Provoca and William O'Neill. They blocked the entire block up on the west side of Chicago, came in, they immediately shot and assassinated the 22-year-old defense captain, Mark Clark. 
The Chicago police kept on shooting up. People said, stop shooting. We got a pregnant sister in here. That pregnant sister was my mother to be then, just turned 19 years old, Deborah Johnson. She felt the shells come through the mattress when the police kept on shooting. She covered over her comrade, her husband's body. The police kept on shooting. They came in, they pulled out the room, they jammed a pistol to her stomach. And she's eight and a half months pregnant, carrying me at the time. When I talk about it, I said the first prenatal care I ever received, as opposed to Dr. Stethoscope, the Chicago Police Department was involved with being placed in my mother's pregnant belly. I was born subsequently about 25 days later. It would be ideal if we could say that's how bad things used to be, how far we come. There are a few black elected officials, or excuse me, black elected officials in different places. Right. But the reality is, this terrorism that we've been subjected to under different, under such euphemisms as slavery, Jim Crow, redlining, we still subjected to it. Let's call it for what it is, y'all. Let's challenge these euphemisms. It ain't no police brutality, it's police terrorism. That's right. Ain't no correctional centers, it's concentration camps. Come on with it. What's happening in our communities is not gentrification, it's land grabs. The new housing that this government got planned for black people in particular is the penitentiaries and the graveyards. That's the, that's the house they got planned for us. And we got to be upfront with it. Sun Tzu said in the Isle of War, the cardinal principle of warfare is to know thyself and know thy enemy. Let's be upfront. Ain't no war on drugs, ain't no war on gangs, ain't no war on guns. It's a war on our black asses. That's right. Real talk. And as Mr. U.E.P. Newt said, if we do not fight back, it can be the fact that it's nothing less than reactionary suicide. And this thing, this term we used to do, use when I was locked up in the concentration camps, where they would take our personal property, and they said, you had to sign for it to get it. We said, we don't want to sign for it, we don't know if all our property is in the boxes. So what we started doing, we would say, let's sign it under the rest. That term got to be applied when you're talking about the U.S. troops in Vietnam, Philippines, the Africa, so on and so forth. That term, we talk about Hakeem Little to anybody else. All the discussion about what decisions you make, every decision we make in our community is made under duress. That's right. The cases of Luke Mar, cases of Ayanna Jones, and so many cases that don't suggest Detroit alone. Man. Something stick out of my mind when I talk about Detroit. It's a case from years back, the case of Malice Green, and where the state used, they, 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 they do their usual tactics. Or we call it the side tracking of the slave. That's when the police beat Rodney King, they, they changed the narrative. Well, was he speeding or not? When they lock us up, well, was they in the gang or not? It's called a sidetrack on the slave. Get you involved in the arena you shouldn't be involved in. We don't, we don't, we ain't come from that cloth of, 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 of a sister's rape. We're not trying to get no discussion about what she, what kind of clothes she had on. Come on. The people in Detroit took a, took the position. They flipped the script when the state came out and said, well, we heard that Malice Green was have, uh, have some sort of drug. The people said, we don't give a fuck if these have heroin. Don't convict them pigs and see what happens. That's the cockiness that we have to have, y'all, is, is the OBs of terrorism. It was a case where this, this white lady was missing, and they asked the congressman, they, they, they say, well, I heard she's having a relationship with the congressman. John Walsh said on the police, saying, wait a minute, we're not talking about that. This lady is missing, point blank. That's the position we got to take, y'all. We got to be clear. Again, ain't no war on drugs, ain't no war on guns, ain't no war on gangs. It's a war on us. You know what I'm saying? We got to be able to distinguish a war from a revolution also, y'all. Yes. A war is two occupying armies where they get down and they get down. Right. A revolution where we gain the minds and participations of the masses of the people. Speak. Right on? Yeah. Right on. We seen this, we talk about music. We seen this in the 60s. It was a movement. They're up there in They're up there in when you seen the Black Panther Party, who the Chairman Farrell and that's Wayne Bo Coalition politicized the formerly known Devil Disciples, when they say we're not a black disciple due to the political education we received from Chairman Farrell and Black Panther Party. It was a movement when the FBI told the Vice Lords they'd give them 16th Street on the West Side if the Black Panther Party gave them a free medical center. Chairman Fred won in the work of the free medical center. It was a movement that when James Brown came up, there, before he came up with the song I'm Black and I'm Proud, A. Trout Brown told him you better go back in the studio. They got what you talking about. He came back out to him, I'm Black and I'm Proud. Come on. Listen. He couldn't have pulled that study pool that on in the Rocky movie with the red, white, and blue draws. That's the climb we gotta have, y'all. We don't give a fuck if you're an artist, poet, on the streets, whatever. We get a, every, ain't no neutral position in this war, y'all. Every you know, we gotta draw the line of the military UEP new called line of demarcation. Who you with? The state of the people. Right on. There are differences that exist in our communities. And this year, in the college ass community in particular. However, remember the Black Panther Party said that differences amongst the people are reconcilable. Different to the people in the state are irreconcilable. What that means in plain lame's turn is, what that means in, what that means in plain lame's turn, 
whatever issue me and you might have had about this block or you, my, my, my child's mother growing with you, we can work that shit out. Ain't no forgiving. The Cook County Jail from place of 17 year old sisters in Cook County Jail forced to force was like they sanitary napkins. Ain't no forgiving. Pontiac, Illinois prison, got guys going on visit with black knit masks over their face, rubbing over the mouthpiece. Ain't no forgiving a system that's continuously denying parole for Sunday out of the Linda Linda Peltier, and countless of others. Free them all, goddamn. Free them all. Ain't no forgiving what these pigs did to Hakeem Liberty. Right on. Right on. Ain't no forgiving for Ain't no sidetracking on the conversation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We say justice for Hakeem Liberty, to exclamation point. Ain't no comma, no question mark, or none of that shit. Exclamation right. point, justice for them all. Yeah. Right on? Right on. We ain't said to we gonna connect these cases. We get them to, man, Detroit, Ohio, Chicago, wherever they at. Again, as the Sandinistas said in Latin America, the will of the people is greater than the man's technology, y'all. Yeah. That's right. Real talk. Revolution that love and respect, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Keep, man, keep the heat on the street. We say the lawyers that play their role, the people that play their role, but the most important ingredient in revolution the necessary ingredient in revolution is the people. people. Is the people. Yes, people. So let's stay consistent. We're gonna take we took some hits, we're gonna take some hits, we're gonna take some losses again. But we got to be consistent. As Malcolm said again, we ain't nothing, we ain't nothing to lose if I change y'all. Revolution love and respect y'all. Free them all, just for Hakeem Miller to just for them all. Right on? Right on. That's what I need, boots. Right on. Right on. That's what I need. Right on. And if that's not something you wanna do, okay, fine, but it's nothing you can do for me. But I will say it's something that I would do for you if you were in this spot. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. That's yes. right. I want to say that Brother Tristan, I will breathe. Detroit will breathe. When I heard him speak, which he's gonna, uh, we're gonna show. And if you can't take looking at it, oh, oh, we should do a candlelight video. Right on. And so we just gave him a little help. And you know, did what we could, and so um, I'm sure you guys would have made him um, Hakeem very proud. Right on, right on. Okay. For right real, on. for real. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Right on. All right, Hakeem Middleton. Hakeem Middleton. Hakeem Middleton. Hakeem Middleton. Fuck twelve. Come on, 
Come on, Juice. Hey, appreciate y'all too, man. Let it be known. He said it's going down. Okay, we in Detroit, Michigan. Intentionally, politically, did not come here first. Because Bill is dynamic, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you have it twisted. The opposition is the dog wag the tail, the tail don't wag the dog. The streets make the music, music don't make the streets. It's strategic that the, 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 the uh, imperialism attempts to elevate artists as a uh, leadership uh, for our people, for, for the black community in particular. In fact, I, I think about an interview with not just artists, athletes, the whole, the whole dynamic. You know, it's an interview where the, um, the interview asked Malcolm X something to the effect like, but well, Jackie Robinson disagrees with your position about violence. And Malcolm said, whoa, wait, he didn't mean, he said, I'm not even going to say, we don't hold no Bob Hope, no man on my road, spokesperson. So, but this is to be acknowledged, acknowledged but also to be put in um, context, historical, political context. The Harlem Renaissance was even raised up, elevated to be a contending force with Marcus Garvin and the UNIA. And it could be a double-edged sword. It's a phenomenon that can be acknowledged with its, its respective role. You know, it can be used as a battle cry. We've seen a climate in our personal lives and political lives. I, 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 I tell the story, you know, uh, I remember Eddie Kendrick, you know, Temptations Day brought me up on stage as a youngster. I remember talking Run Away From Home, my mother played the movie, uh, the song Run Away Child. But um, this should also be noted too, on the other end of the sword, uh, under the, uh, 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 other end of the sword, how um, the struggles that Marvin gave gained others, again, uh, let me show some of these pictures right here. Gave others uh, that went through to go against the, the line that was pushed, you know, saying Barry Gordon and others, you know, saying the ministry about not addressing nothing political and how to climb it, you know, what I'm saying uh, the movement, you know, out there. Anyway, Marvin Gaye was able to go against Barry Gordon, multi director. So I'm gonna put this song on what's going on with you, like it or not. Um, everything is political. Matter of fact, Rick James, they don't most, the most time review, they, they was they was they was performing with the temptations that I was a youngster, they brought me up on stage. Yeah. With the different uh this be put this correct, it can be appreciated. You put this correct context. Um, you go back and you look you can listen to some recent statements. By for Smokey Robinson and this association with African people, you, you can like, like recent up to date. History should be acknowledged. In fact, we're gonna be uh, and I, even even the legacy. They had a, they had a, re a recent Motown uh, review, a Motown anniversary, a review or something recently. And no, Jennifer Lopez, it was no black people on the stage performing. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard. To, yeah, there was no black people. This is and it's something that's that, 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 that's uh, you know what I'm saying that that um, and lots of, you get put in context too. Like I watched the movie American Soul. They had grabbed, uh, it was another guy other than Don Cornelius that, you know what I'm saying, was a continued, that was Soul Train was listed in Chicago. It was another guy who had more of a mass line. Don Cornelius was a Chicago police, right? you know what I'm saying? And, it, and they, they took him, and, that, and they, in our community, they had grabbed a more palatable individual, you know what I'm saying, them, back them, so on and so forth. And movements, like, like when Kanye West, we met him at, at Boris Bookstore, Years back, eight hours before he said he said about George Bush not, not liking black people, we had a serious sit down with him you know, about the whole that you know, about the, you know saying what's going. I, 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 I was talking, and I, I see that tricking him. You got to assess certain people. Certain things trigger certain people. When I said to him that burning that devil, an Irish Republican army, no, a white one. When I said about, about who who took a stand, who the, the mayor of New York gave her the keys to the city in New York. She took them keys and turned them over to the Black Panther Party. I said, y'all got a responsibility to that might get y'all hand. And that triggered him right then. And this, the, the whole dynamic, uh, uh, people got, oh yeah, he's a revolutionary, and it helped, it lowered the bar. Because they put it in position here before they put it in. 
movements make the music, not vice versa. You know what I'm saying? And that's in Rome. In Rome, they would have they would put the artists and the, the, the gladiators and the, the whole the, the spokesperson leadership. Other communities, you know, you know, you know, you can't imagine the white community coming out of movie theater. Bruce Willis disagrees with nuclear weapons. It, 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 it won't sound right. But the black, I remember talking to the ambassador for Venezuela in San Francisco. He was talking about all the different organizations, the respective organizations they work with. He got talking about the, the Puerto Rican organization, the, the Mexicano, or different organizations. When I asked him, with the black community, who, this, mind you, this is at a time, all due respect, at a time when you go shop dancers in leadership. The ambassador of Venezuela told me that they're meeting with the African drummers of DC. The African drummers of Washington, DC. Everything is political, including music. Everything is political, including music. You see a time, what made Tupac, you look at uh, uh, Nipsey, their dynamic, what made the dynamics of the work, the lineage, that grounding, that basic of, 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 of relating to, you know, like people say, and some guy tried to slander Nipsey, he, 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 he wasn't no, he wasn't this and that, no legend, because of his record sale. A lot of people are, 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 are have to result, refer to ruling class standards. Them cats relate to the people, you know what I'm saying? That, you, know, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's, that's what makes them stick out in the hearts and minds of the people. Marvin Gaye, Sam Cooke, you know what I'm saying? They relate with the people. We're going to go to another museum. Some of this is phenomenal in Detroit, and also, you know what I'm saying? Not to be some, not, not to We tie these campaigns in, because even history, and it's important to note to put stuff in, like, cross the T's and dot the I's, and acknowledge, and get, you know what I'm saying? Get credit for the certain moves that different forces made, even with the music and different dynamics. But to put it in this correct context, so a lot of times people say themselves to be uh, disappointed. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? They said something about Nick, uh, Nick Cannon saying people call him a sellout now. The people, you have to ask what people put a person, in, uh, what, uh, what put this artist in a situation like he needed to our people, you know? Yeah, we go. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, uh, I know it's climbing ahead of a lot of move with the Hampton House Museum. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna keep it moving though. Say the Hampton House and the history. And I, and I, we appreciate this. It's, it's important to have institutions, you know what I'm saying? Document different dynamics. And even the class contradicts with the Diana Ross and the Supremes, who, you know, got the other sister's name, you know, it's not just based on talent. It's based on what, you know, they, certain artists are elevating certain positions because they, they're not, uh, again, not based on talent, they respect the political line. What's that, brother? Right, good. Yeah. Good morning. Something more. Jackie, lady. Yeah, uh, uh, that, 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 uh, move they make inside. Now, I was watching, even um, with Dick Clark, but I watched they told the contended, like how American Bass thing was raised as a contended dynamic with. Uh, Soul Train, and there's certain people that are challenged the race could be certain true, but it don't be about, about black people. It'd be, it'd be like, 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 help me, you know what I'm saying? But um, even the payolas, the big thing that's about the payola, about how the radio stations would um, you know, you know, get branded out, you know, they, you know, to, to play certain yeah, songs. Certain song. People careers were destroyed. Dick, Dick Clark never got no, never get this, no, no heat you know, about, about that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then even the, the uh, Motown move into the um. Hollywood industry, you see the, the lady uh, down the road, the uh, lady singing the blues. This is the uh, the Wiz, the, the, the black adaptation of Wizard of Oz. You, see, uh, you have Michael Jackson, who's um, uh Scarecrow, uh, down the road, Dorothy. I forgot who played uh, Ryan, but uh, Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey, ooh, Nipsey Russell, Nipsey Russell, who donated money to the Black Panther Party Free Records program. Nipsey Russell, you know, Tin Man. I use a drop from him for this song I did called.